Thank Jesus. This thing finally feels like recording. I'm back. I, I don't know, it doesn't really matter if I'm back. I mean, I never went anywhere. But anyway, whoa. Bouncy clouds. Anyways. Let's place this patch. And a little... Is that a mole? Yeah, I don't remember. I think it's a mole. And the land collapses upon itself. Revealing to us... Mole hole. Mole hole. I'm not gonna make a dirty joke out of this. This is just inappropriate. Immature. So we'll just go to the level. Mole hole. And I've realized, honestly, one of the good things about this game is the spriting. Just saying. Honestly, I've realized how hard it must be for Nintendo to do those sprites. And I guess that's why they didn't put much work into the game. But, uh... I'm not gonna say that's exactly the reason. They've done some other stuff. Some good games. I mean, we've all played Galaxy, for example. Mario Galaxy, in fact. Okay, they don't get lost in these clouds, whatever, jigger jiggers. Whatever these jiggers are. Ha ha! You have been crushed, my friend. Also, this music is horrible, and it plays whenever you play as this thing. It's also very slow playing as this whole thing. I kinda wanna wait for that thing to go away. Didn't do it very well. That was a good attempt, though. Now, I don't remember where any of the collectibles are here. I remember them being very hard to get. Uh, here, I, think it's well, I don't know how you get that. Oh, yeah, I remember how you get that. Break it! It's got crystal shards in it. Silly. That's a little. That's I guess that's a little shout out to all the people who played the old Kirby games. Or something. I don't know. Carrot dresser. Carrot dresser. Really? Is that really the best name for a thing you got? This isn't a very hard game. This is actually the hardest level there is. Don't ask. People. Come on. Out of the way, Fab. 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 Oh, God! I forgot about that. Oh, no! Now what? Doesn't matter. That's basically for the ones who are not as hard as like I am. The fudge? Did I just find, like, a crystal? Kind of sitting there, minding his own business. Freaking sweet. Oh god, I just freed the monster. Yeah, this is one of the levels that actually did kind of present a little bit of difficulty to me. This is the only part that has any challenge to it, though, is this mole thing. Because I don't like the moles. They don't get along. They don't get along very well. There we are. I'm not gonna do well in this level. I'm gonna have to do this level multiple times, I know. Always do. Did I fuck this up again? Damn it. God damn it. I fuck this level up every time I do it, I swear to god. That's one of the things I needed. to do. Can you get down there? Oh, shit! Oh, let's do it again. I really don't care. Pac-Man or something. Dig Dug, Dig Dug, what this is like. 
That's the game I have. Oh, hey, I found something. I don't know how I found that, but okay. really is like random stars in this level. Now in the background. What the hell? Why do I keep finding these random jewel things? Oh, they are. I don't know what they are. Like those, they're like the best money there is. I know. I know that. Freaking best place to be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm not gonna do good. Not gonna do good. Not gonna do good. Damn you! What the f <laughs> That's sad. At least we got this though. And this is this is gonna be shown later. I wanna do this level again. I missed one of the treasures. So we need to do it again before we can open up the next level, so. I'll see you guys in a minute. I will just do this level real quick. Oh, I gotta throw it. Oh well. This is hilarious. Or maybe it isn't hilarious. That'd be funny. That's also a very cool level. It's like freaking bananas all over the place there. But we need to do this level again. And one player. Plus, I would love to play this game on two player, but. Unfortunately, I've, I've, I've played the co-op before in this game, I think. A long time ago, I tried to do an LP with Shadow Toast. But that didn't go as well as I thought it would. I actually just I got bored, but still. Okay. Okay. I figured out what you're supposed to do. I think. I think I figured this out. There we are. That's what you're supposed to do. Don't do it wrong. Like I just did a million times in a row. You break that, and you jump in there, and you fall down, and you jump out, and there's the thing you wanted. Thank you! Kind of like x you know? don't care anymore. This is actually a very easy level if you're not trying. If you don't give a shit, this is the easiest level in the game. Okay, we did it. Good. Does it have to take the same amount of time, no matter what? Thank you, game. Jeez. Is there a way of telling you without actually making a level? Oh well. So now that we got that one done, we have one more level to go. Let's do it. Finish this level. Let's not this game up. Let's finish this, ep this level up. Oh yeah, this world. This uh, this land, as the game calls it. <gasps> this music's actually kind of cool. I like this music. Oh, it's the one on that. Oh my goodness, I love this music. This is the one about the story of a Kirby. Who? I don't know. Ouch. Don't need it. Bitch, please.
Get up there, bitch! What is that? Okay, it's a ping pong. Uh, ping pong! A, uh, what's it called? What's that game called? A, uh... Wow, I really forgot the name of that game. Pinball. That's the name of the game. Wow. I've literally forgotten the name of Pinball. Don't forget any treasures. No treasure is to be missed. Are they really holding Waddle Doos now? That's weird. Oh well. Also, very easy treasures for once. Log cake. Just what I've always wanted. Another problem with this game. It's stuff I don't care about. <gasps> now this is the Wispy Woods battle, because Wispy Woods isn't actually in this game, so they had like this Wispy Wood thing here. Well actually he is in this game actually. But later. Shouldn't be spoiling that. Don't miss it! Bitch. Okay, I got my silver now. Back at least. This is very hard to control, by the way. It doesn't look that hard to control the UFO, but it bounces off everything, and it doesn't float as smoothly as it should. Thank you. This is the game. The game's apparently male. Just established for that. Oh, well, that's a way to lose your money. Stop it! Did I lose something down there? I did. This game, people. Kill everything! Most people don't care. Now, if that's... Okay, good. I don't want to do this level again. I really don't. Oh, they do drop money. I'm gonna grab that. That would come in handy. That's gonna be two. The sword getting the arrow would be two. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Kill this thing? Cool. Oh, you can! Fucking bitch, man. Bitch, please. That is what you get for being yourself. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you can kill them. Being able to kill everything is kind of, kind of nice. I like how destructive this game actually is. Oh, baby. Honestly, the arts and craft design is kind of cool. So is the paper design of Muppet Mario. It's kind of like taking that approach. If, if it, it's basically what Nintendo was trying to do. They're trying to combine Paper Mario and Wario, where Wario, Wario Land shake it, and then they like, oh fuck, let's put in, let's put in, uh, let's put in Kirby in there. I don't know who cares. It, this probably was going to be a Mario game at some point. They thought, oh, this is too cute for Mario. Let's pick a Kirby. I actually wouldn't be surprised if it was something like that. Someone tell me, this was originally going to be a Paper Mario game. I love it. The idea of Mario becoming a whole different material. Some butt fucking how. And there we have it. I don't know the secret to this thing. It's not gonna go. It is gonna go, okay. That gives you quite a bit of monies, which will come in handy. Since we've gotten a bit of a short episode, I think. I think this is a short episode, so I'm just gonna go to the little shops now, because you can. I never did show that. And it doesn't take any work, really, to get everything in the game. So, unlike, like, LEGO Star Wars... Oh, good, good timing. 
Unlike uh, like Lego Star Wars or some other game that involves currency that I've played, uh, usually it takes a lot of work to buy all the unlockable items in the game. This game, honestly, it really doesn't take much work. About halfway through the game, you'll have gotten everything just naturally. This is our brothers. Chase Wool. Chase Wool. Furniture Chase Wool. I don't get it. And Loomis Wool. I get that one. Loom. Loom. I know what Loom is. Someone give me, help me with a joke, Chase Wool. I'll, I'll, I'd love you if you did that. It's, well, then Don Wool. Someone tell you the joke behind that. And these are fabrics, which basically make your walls difference. No, I have to admit that one's kind of cool. This is the flowers. They're so cute. Let's just get all the ones that are available. If you come back later in the game, you'll have more ones available. Oh, furniture. You need a fridge. It's Kirby man. A lot of food. Now, I know eventually with this guy you can get like toys that look like all the Kirby characters from before they became yarn. Which is kinda cool. Now I'll show you this real quick. If you go back to one of the dudes. It's all different stuff now. Well, let's go we're out of money. So I'll put the rest in fast motion. And we are out of cash now. Now, I'm just going to point out a little fact that I actually did get one of the little, uh... One of the little... Kirby characters, I guess. By the way, this is Patch Plaza. And what Patch Plaza is for, if you're wondering, why the fuck anyone would go here. It's actually your progress in the game, with everything. And stuff, and fabric, and metals, and all that. And this is where you can explore all your things you've gotten. And I've gotten, actually, uh, the toy box. I actually got one of them. Where's it at? What'll do? It's a giant Waldo. I love this guy. He's got only one eye. It's pretty cool. I don't really like the descriptions though. It's supposed to be like if Kirby was responding to all of his enemies. It's the fabric that unlocked. And I just don't like that. It just really isn't that cool. What are metals? Is this like the levels? Oh yeah, this is like the levels. Okay, cool. And then this is the songs you unlocked, which is like the little CDs. And if you pick one, you can just play it. It's, it's this kind of cool. And that's also how people get. That's how people get the uh, the videos, I guess. I don't know how exactly how they do that. And this is also the cutscenes right here. And this is the cast, which I guess is the characters you've seen before. And this includes all the characters, like Zeke, there's Fangora, there's all of the enemies you've ever seen in the game. If I can get up high enough, no, I'm going this way. There's not very many in the game. Waddle Doo, Scarfy, Wicked Willow. It's basically. It's basically Wispy Woods. It's basically Wispy Woods, just a lot spookier. Dan Dan, aka Hi Duke. Anyways, and there's also this one thing here. Find him. Which I never got to show yet. Uh, this thing, Angie. Which is like an angel thing. Which I never did explain as to what her point in the game is. And actually, if you fall off an edge. Uh, she will grab you and pull you back up or something. I don't fucking know what it is. And, uh, basically, yeah. Also, when you get them all full, you get these little bells. I don't know exactly what the bells do. Someone, uh, the comments below, please tell me what they're for. I think it's like a bonus level you can get or something, probably. But, uh, I never did get that. I never did figure out what they're for. So we'll come back when I've gotten everything, we'll see about that. So in the next episode... There will be waffles. No, not really, but in the next episode, we can pretend there's waffles. So I love you all. The end.